let's get into this haul. Uh, we're going to start off with these cake pans because I want to get these washed. Because uh, we're going over to Monique's uh, booth today. And I want to put these up there because stuff like this has been selling there. And just, um, you know, happy with the way that booth is performing now that we swapped out. Um, took out the Nerf and put in all of Monique's items. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, always good to have a plan B just in case. Plan A doesn't work. And uh, we've sold some of this stuff there. So we're, we're hoping that this stuff will sell as well. Um, and by this stuff, like I said, cake pans, but Wilton products. So this is uh, this one here is from 1998. Um, I, overall, I paid every, for everything 75 bucks, I think. Um, I'll tell you all the prices individually. So <clears throat> we sold, uh, we didn't sell. <laughs> Where I got, I got this Wilton 1998 hockey player uh, cake pan here. So that's pretty cool. We got that. They had a bunch. I only picked up a few of them. Uh, next one we have here is this 1989 Ninja Turtle cake pan. It's Michelangelo, bro. I should save it. Have money make me a cake for it for my birthday. Um, so we got that one, and then we have a uh, 1998 Barney cake pan. And you can see it was four bucks, but then they, I guess nobody was buying it and they brought the price down to $1.91. I didn't see these there, so I don't know where they were at. They probably took them to the back because of the like, holiday stuff and brought out holiday things. Um, yeah, because I didn't see this one there, but, or any of these. Brownie, Brownie, Barney. So it looks like a lot of these were there and they weren't moving, so they brought the price down. So each one was two bucks. And. We have a, um, this one, this one doesn't have a year, but it's made in Korea. This is, uh, I was gonna say Tweety Bird, uh, Big Bird. Last night, as we were listing and um, pricing stuff, we were watching Space Jam. I hadn't seen that movie in a while. Uh, it was fun, it was a fun watch. I'm glad I was able to see it. <clears throat> um, and then we have another 1989 made in korea so that means this one this other one must be made in, in 1980 and also uh big bird so we got two big birds picked up a nice lot of plush here happy i need plush to list on ebay i i, I do have plush but right now i want to take a nice bundle to the to the booth to the toy booth um we'll start with this one here Got this pink octopus. Thought it was pretty cool. And this is this is just a generic uh it's hug fun. Uh and it was three bucks. But I thought it was cool. I just listed that um Bubba Gump octopus yesterday. So hopefully that goes well. And then um one of the dogs, and this is Disney, is this one of the dogs from All Dogs Go to Heaven? Or which movie? I don't remember. I want to say All Dogs Go to Heaven, but I could be wrong. Comment below if you know where he's from. But he is cool. And he's one that I don't see. It is the first time I've seen him, and he has the Mighty Patch. Um, he's nice condition, too. So he is cool. <clears throat> Goofy. Um, Cole's cares. Paid two bucks for it. I don't. It's. I probably shouldn't have gotten him for two bucks, but I did. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Picked up this uh, bear. I want to say, and this looks like it's vintage and it's well made. Is it a bear or is it an otter? Is it a bear or an otter? I, no, bear? I want to say bear. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, paid 95 cents for him. And they originally had him for $1.91 and they brought him down to 95 cents. So this is Lou Raw. Lou Raw something. Uh, look it up. I'll look it up and see if it's anything good. 
Um, but yeah, well made, well made. So that's a nice one. <clears throat> and then you guys saw, uh, picked up the Squishmallows, dollar ninety one. Um, she has a little, a couple of spots. Um, some people were asking about how to clean plush. You could wash them. Um, some of them just say, um, like just surface clean also. You could wash them. I've never washed any of them, but from what I understand from watching Bargain Zombie Hunters, you could wash them. Um, just don't dry them. Don't dry plush. Don't ever dry your plush. Uh, when you wash them, spread them out on the table, out in the sun, and let them air dry. Um, man, these are so soft. Uh, but yeah, this is one I haven't seen before, so I picked her up. Uh, Squishmallows again, two bucks. I paid up for a couple of things, but I feel like with the other items, it's gonna, you know, we're gonna make money. It's not, not, not a problem. We're gonna make money. Not a problem. Uh, I picked up this uh, Elvis taking care of business uh, plush. This is, I think, the third one or the second one or the third one I've picked up and I've sold on eBay. Uh, it says Elvis right there, taking care of business. TCB. Um, and Blue suede shoes, 1956. Elvis Presley. And there are some that get fancier. The only problem with this one is it's a little stained right here. You can't really tell um, in, on the screen, but um, it does have a couple of stains. So we're going to see if we can clean that out because... Uh, these will, this one will sell hopefully quick as quick as other ones um, But he's other than that. He's in good condition um, I don't know if he does something because he has a pocket Back here So I don't know if he had oh, you know what? I think the other ones had a uh, The squeeze box and he would sing the song. I think one of them did so maybe that's what this one had inside But it's not in there anymore and uh, we paid Three bucks for that guy. <clears throat> Pick this uh, large Zoom Zoom plush up. And you see, like, I think this one was washed. Yeah, you can't tell. You Can you tell there? So I think that, that happens when you wash and, air, and dry your plush. Um, their, uh, the material gets like, you know, it looks like that. Uh, but this one still looks good. It doesn't look bad. Uh, I paid two bucks for it. And it's Disney, Marvel. Spider-Man, Spider-Man stuff moves well in um, my booth. Um, stuff that hasn't been moving so well in my booth is Thomas stuff. It sells, but it doesn't sell as quick as I wanted it to sell. So I'm slowing down on picking up the Thomas stuff. Paw Patrol moves. Um, everything else moves and Spider-Man does great in my booth. Um, he's just, he's kind of a hot character right now. You know, Miles Morales, the game, all that stuff. So Spider-Man is on every nerd's uh, mind right now. Hey, me, me included. Venom. I'm wearing a Venom shirt. But uh, I'll prefer a Venom item over Spider-Man item any day of the week. Uh, but I do like Spider-Man as well. Um, yeah. Oh, and uh, picked up this little dog. And he's not necessarily a plush, but he is... An American Girl dog, and we paid two bucks for this guy here. Um, never saw that. And <clears throat> at the store, I really don't really ever comp stuff out. It, once in a while, I will comp stuff out, but normally if I see it and I like it and I feel good about the price, I'll buy it. I'm not sitting there comping everything out. That's part of the fun. And sometimes, uh, sometimes, you know, doesn't turn out well, but it's fine. As long as I get my money back, it's fine. Um, that's why I like the the bins. Love the bins because man, you pay fifty cents. Uh, I've I don't think I've ever paid more than a dollar for anything there. So it's like, yes, yes, want that, want that, want that, want that. But then that's when I get stuck with a bunch of stuff. Not stuck, but stuff that I got a price and you know make into bundles and all that stuff. But this is a cool little dog. Um, yeah. American girl. American girl. Got a couple of baggies here. <clears throat> this bag we paid $2.92 for. And I picked it up. B 
because of this guy here, the Count uh, from Sesame Street, and he is 2009. I figured he wasn't vintage because it says Sesame Street celebrating 40 years on the tag, so I knew he was vintage. But I'm gonna. I don't know what he goes for on its own, on his own. But if he doesn't go for too much, I'm going to bundle him up with these other characters that I found in this other bag. But that's a cool one there. Cool. Good condition. Other items we had in the bag. Little dandy collectibles. Uh, this might be a good one to put up for <coughs> Excuse me, Easter. Caterpillar thing. Um, and... Toy Arama, Toy Arama, a little Toy Arama bear thing. That's what we got in that bag. And in this other baggie here, oh, we got a little uh, Bunnies by the Bay little toy thing. I I'm kind of iffy on selling the baby stuff. I know you got to wash it, wash the items. Oh, we have another one. Ah, maybe I will end up washing it bunnies oh this is pottery barn kids so maybe we'll lock those two up guys look like i'm looks like you're gonna wash them items because you got a little little lot right there and we got some dice some cheetah dice we'll go in a nice little low rider okay and then the reason i picked up this bag here because we have in applause does this have a year applause um doesn't have a year but a small cookie monster plush so we'll put him in a nice little lot and then we have in applause um, does this one have a year 1995 Grover so we'll throw him in the lot with those three and then we have another applause 1995 also uh, what is this character's name? I, I was never, never, Zoe? Is that what the name is? This character here, Zoe. So we got four Sesame Street characters that we'll put in a nice little lot and should sell for, you know, a nice, nice little shiny penny there. So we got to wash those. Baby stuff, I wash them. And the reason I wash them, because that's what bargain. Uh, zombie hunter said to do he said he washes all the baby, baby all the baby plush stuff so i figure you know what sounds like a good idea that's what we're gonna do too and then i found another furby and it's the 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 later furbies or more recent furbies 2012 and these are the ones I kind of find often. This is like the third one I found at Denton Thrift. And they're, it's funny because they're always in the same area. They're always in the plush and they're kind of hidden. So you could easily miss it. Um, but since I I look through the plush, I always see them there. Um, I'm not sure if, his work, if it works. Let's see if it works. All right. <laughs> Opened them up. Opened them up and uh, he works fine. I still can't see the eyes. It was funny because he, he had a like high pitched voice at first and then it changed into this voice. Yeah, <laughs> so that's cool. Hey. See that cake? I don't know. I still to this day don't know what you're supposed to do with these things. I guess train them or something. I don't know. But, uh, let's pull the batteries back out. Happy that the, the Furby works. I think the last one I got, um, he made movements and stuff, but it didn't speak. I think the speaker was was broken. And I know you could get in there. You could pop get in there and resolder stuff or replace stuff, but I, I just don't know how to do that so i i didn't want to do it um and we paid five bucks for this guy that's what they seem to go for there 
at um, Denton Thrift. Uh, these guys are funny. I, I find these more often than the um, the OG ones. The only OG one that I've ever found was at the bins here, and that was that was pretty cool. All right, the last plush item that we have is this large flounder. Check that out. This dude's huge. And he has, oh, oh, he has the mighty patch there. So he is huge. This is going to be my, um, this is going to be my, my thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's it for plush. Let me get the toys that I found. We got a uh, handful of toys here. I'm going to show you guys that at the end. First item here, Paw Patrol plane. Paid uh, $3 for it. And I sold one maybe about two weeks ago at the booth. For... I want to say 15 bucks, maybe. Maybe. Not too sure. Um, yeah, so... And the other one was in not so great condition. So this one is better condition so happy to find that picked up a um, poly pocket vehicle a little trunk here I got a nice little shelf of vehicles there so we paid three bucks for that so that's cool I'm trying I'm trying to get more uh, Girl, you know, more girl toys in the booth. I know they could play with whatever they want, but you know what I mean. I'm trying to trying to mix it up. Uh, I don't want to just get, you know, I want to get a nice mix of toys. So we got that, and I thought this was a pretty cool vehicle. <clears throat> Picked up some Nerf. We got this rough cut here. Uh, just gotta clean clean it down. Pay three bucks for it. It works so we got that and we got which this uh, zombie strike <clears throat> this one's called the hammer shot <laughs> it was funny because I think there was a, a dart in here in the I don't know if you were able to see it in the in the footage but I think there was a dart in here and when I tested it out <laughs> I saw some fly out so I was like whoops um, oh, I think this is my favorite like gun from there this is I like I like the build of it I like the like the design of it it's pretty cool so that's awesome got that and I, I have some at my booth but you know I set them up like a store I four in a row four in a row you know try to, try to I'm still figuring it out but try to display them nice at the store um at the booth and then we have a nerf rival um <clears throat> little ball clip or magazine and we paid three dollars for that we got a ourselves a little imagine next firehouse uh imagine next because you can see there goes the where you can place the, the the guys at and i <clears throat> i have a couple of firefighters imagine next firefighters uh in the dollar bin somewhere it's funny because this is built like just exactly like the old ghostbusters house uh i think i have an imagine next um fire truck we pay five bucks for this guy um but i thought this would be cool um <clears throat> i thought this would be cool at the booth um especially because at the booth we sold that big um batman the big Batman uh, Imagine Next, uh, what is it called? It's called Batbot or something. We sold it. It sold for $45 uh, at the booth. That was awesome. I had it there more as like a display piece. It looks cool. It draws the people in. Um, and it sold. It sold the day before Christmas. Um, looks like somebody was going to get it as a birthday present or got it as a birthday present. Um, and it was a cool piece because it was just there, center. Uh, in my booth and it, it had a nice little Batman set up around it. So that's gone. Um, <clears throat> and um, this isn't as big. 
as big but it's still going to be cool and i think it's still going to draw people in especially those like vintage action figure collectors that are going to see this and they're going to think right away the old ghostbuster house so maybe this will pull them into my booth and they'll look at they'll look around it has like a trap door up here and stuff but this is like almost identical to the ghostbuster uh firehouse the old vintage one so we got that all right and then got some little fun here this is awesome here i'm not too sure exactly is it an action figure is it let me show you it's this here this bootleg superman toy and this is awesome i love me some bootleg toys and it has this like string and this like parachute thing that's the cape right there you see that look at his face and these are, I don't know if this is a bootleg from here, but a lot of like, you know, Mexican bootlegs, quote unquote Mexican bootlegs, um, you know, are made this way. Once at a flea market, I bought a Wonder Woman that was this way, minus the, the parachute or whatever this opens up to. Paid, I don't know, three, four dollars for it. Um, Cause somebody, you know, thought it was junk. So I paid three, four dollars for it and I flipped her on ebay for like 40 dollars so i might be able to do the same with this because there is a lot of bootleg collectors and the canopy isn't opened you know it's not messed with so this is real cool here so i'm pretty sure i'll be able to flip this and i'll keep you guys updated but check that out <clears throat> he is awesome uh i would probably keep it but since it has this canopy on it and stuff i'm you know, if it was just a figure by itself, that would be cool. But I'm sure some collector is going to want this on eBay. So if you see stuff like this, look it up. Just look up whatever bootleg, Superman bootleg or Mexican bootleg on um, uh, eBay. And see what they go for. He is cool. So we're definitely going to put that definitely going to put this up on ebay and uh, put a nice price for it and see if it sells sales i'll keep you updated on that but that is awesome i saw that there and i know people aren't going to pick this up because unless you're a collector you're not going to pick this up because you're like wait i'm not going to pay for this junk here but it'll flip on ebay for sure uh and like i said i'll keep you in the loop that's it guys that's it for this video that's it for this haul hopefully you enjoyed it comment below what your favorite item was Mine was definitely this cool bootleg Superman. I don't want to open the canopy. I don't want to open it up because I don't know if it's like, it has to be like a parachute type deal, right? I don't know. We'll see, but that is awesome. That was my favorite item, my favorite pick of today. And I'm glad I went to Denton Thrift today because we picked up a nice, um, a nice haul. Uh, we got a Furby, we got those, those cake plates. Uh, cake pans all kinds of fun stuff but now it's time to get to work i gotta get to listing that plush get to pricing because we're gonna go to monique's booth today and restock some items there you probably won't have footage from that because i just recently did some footage um so i don't want to bore you guys with the same old footage all the time uh, but if you do enjoy that footage let me know in the comments below again uh, feel free to subscribe if you are enjoying these videos or subscribe if you're enjoying these videos that's what I should say if you're over on Facebook watching the videos on Facebook hop on over to YouTube hit that subscribe button for us and help us out help us get to a thousand subscribers we're on our way slowly 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 we got our backpacks on we got our walking stick and we're, we're making progress slowly but surely we'll get there um, we're at around five mid 500s around there somewhere a big thank you for getting us that far. We appreciate it. We enjoy making the videos for you. We enjoy going to the thrift stores. We enjoy reselling. We are having a good time right now. Um, and we are lucky because it was a harsh year for a lot of people. Um, luckily for us, we did okay. We survived. We got through. It's not over yet, but we're doing okay. 
<clears throat> um, so we're happy so far. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.